The name chainsaw is known for one thing. And that is the felling of trees. But the chainsaw was not initially intended for tree felling. But it has evolved over the years. There are other forms of saws that were invented to make felling trees easier. A chainsaw is a tool that has a lot of history behind it. So, what was the original purpose of the chainsaw? In the past, the only way to deliver a baby was through the birth canal. That includes babies that were too big or in breach. There was no cesarean operation then. Doctors would use either a knife or a saw to deliver such babies. They will remove some of the mother's pelvic bones. This would help open the pelvic bone, which will help create a bigger space. That is how the baby can pass successively. This procedure was both time-consuming and very painful. At that time there was no anesthesia. The women had to endure the pain without any relief. This process was called symphysiotomy. Symphysiotomy is a process of removing some bone parts and cartridge. In 1780, two Scottish doctors sought for a solution. The names of the two doctors were James Jeffrey and John Aitken. They wanted to reduce the time and pain involved in child delivery. They went ahead to produce a tool that had a chain saw. It had the size of a kitchen knife. It was operated by using the hand crank to make the saw rotate. The rotating blade would be used to cut the bone. The small size of this tool made it easy to enter small spaces. It was faster and more precise than a knife or saw. Its success spread fast in the medical community. As a result, many doctors decided to adopt it. It became a tool of choice for bone cutting and removal. A few years later, a separate event happened. That was in Germany in the year 1830. A German by the name Bernhard Heine made a similar observation. He noticed that the tools for cutting bones were too crude. It made their work messy and tiresome. He decided to do something about it. He produced a bone-cutting tool called osteotome. It became a revolutionary surgical tool. The osteotome was handheld and the blade was long. This blade was used to guide a chain around it. This chain had very sharp teeth. The handle was connected to the sprocket wheel. This invention had nothing to do with the earlier one by the Scottish doctors. With time people noticed the ease with which it cuts bone. This gave them the idea that it can cut other materials. At this period in history, timber was very big and thriving business. Dealers were always looking for ways to increase output. After some years, the first chainsaw was made. And the inspiration came from the works of these doctors. Over the years, there were advancements in medical science and technology. Improved methods of delivery were discovered. And this led to the end of the use of such tools. The oldest known chainsaw was made by Samuel Benz from San Francisco. He got it patented on the 17th of January 1905. But the model he made was very heavy and quite cumbersome. In 1918, a Canadian called Millwright J. Shan developed another type. This one was a more portable chainsaw and had it patented. His patent elapsed in 1930. When he did not renew the patency, another manufacturer copied his invention. The name of the company was Festo from Germany. The oldest existing makers of chainsaw is still. And that is how the chainsaw came to be. From a medical tool for bringing forth babies, to a monster tool used for felling trees. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below. And hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details. And visit our site, www.zimsaws.com for more awesome, suck content like this.